let's get to the news. The 73rd annual Primetime Emmy Awards were hosted last night by Cedric the Entertainer with an assist from Rita the Rapper. Around 400 people attended the so-called Justice for J6 rally over the weekend held at the Capitol. Well, it's not as many as they hoped for, but that's still a lot of reporters. During a lecture last week, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas said that the court had its flaws and compared it to a, quote, car with three wheels. Well, you know what you do to a car with three wheels? Retire it. <laughs> do you follow what I'm saying, Clarence Thomas? You retire it. <laughs> Mike Scullins liked it so much he wanted me to say the punchline twice. <laughs> He, he thought that maybe uh, the standing ovation. <laughs> I would say it over the standing ovation. The House of Representatives returned Tuesday from its August recess. Oh, good, just in time for October. In a new interview, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden said that their German Shepherd Major's habit of biting Secret Service agents has caused her and President Biden to delay bringing a cat into the White House because as much as it hurts to get bitten, it hurts even more to be ignored. <laughs> New York Mayor Bill de Blasio's press secretary announced yesterday that he will step down next month to open a political consulting firm, which will teach aspiring politicians, I guess, what not to do. <laughs> Customs officials said recently that they have intercepted thousands of packages of fake coronavirus vaccine cards from China, and you can tell they're fake because they fit in your wallet. <laughs> Tickets went on sale last week for an immersive experience based on the Netflix show Bridgerton. And as a reminder, the first three rows are in the splash zone. Oh. Allie, take it up with Allie. <laughs> Yesterday was National Wife Appreciation Day and Rudy Giuliani got his a card. <laughs> and finally, Brewer Sam Adams is releasing a new limited edition beer that contains 28% alcohol by volume, said Boston residents. Ah, oh, Christ, not another light beer. It was announced yesterday that President Biden will follow the FDA recommendation that those 65 and older receive a coronavirus vaccine booster. Well, he is used to needing three shots. During his address to the U.N. General Assembly today, President Biden announced that the U.S. will make a $10 billion commitment to end hunger. Pretty impressive, especially compared to the previous president, who spent about 300 bucks. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro this morning entered the U.N. General Assembly Hall unvaccinated, violating both U.N. rules and New York law, but he got a hero's welcome on Staten Island. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau won yesterday's snap election, and in keeping with Canadian tradition, he gave a long, heartfelt victory apology. President Biden yesterday recognized the 10th anniversary of the end of the Don't Ask, Don't Tell military policy. Now, Don't Ask, Don't Tell refers to Afghanistan. Former President Trump sent a letter last week to Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger asking him to consider decertifying the 2020 election. Dude, just give up. You know you don't have to be president to play golf, right? According to a new survey, 9% of Americans said that they drink less than one cup of water a day. At least I think that's what they said. Their voices were very raspy. <laughs> Today was National New York Day. Ah, yes, finally, a day for New Yorkers to think they're special. Oh, you're from New York. Uh-huh. And you say the pizza's good there? Huh. Authorities in New York are searching for a man who allegedly rolled a bike onto the subway tracks over the weekend, which caused an explosion when it was hit by a train. Officials condemned this behavior and said, when you're done with a city bike, you're supposed to chuck it in the Hudson. <laughs> Former President Trump filed a lawsuit yesterday against the New York Times, three times reporters, and his niece, Mary Trump, for disclosing his tax documents. But he might have given away the game because he's suing for, quote, 100 million untaxable dollars. <laughs> After former President Trump filed a lawsuit yesterday, Mary Trump said that her uncle is a, quote, loser. This first reported by the New York Times. During his address yesterday to the UN General Assembly, President Biden spoke about the upcoming World Climate Summit and called on leaders to, quote, bring their highest possible ambitions. Said Australia, a knife that's also a beer. 
According to a new book, Russian President Vladimir Putin told President Biden on a phone call that he was, quote, upset that Biden called him a killer in an old interview. Putin was apparently so upset that two of his aides committed suicide. <laughs> According to new court documents, former President Trump's campaign knew that the allegations about broken voting machines in the 2020 election were false. Well, could you clue in Mike Lindell? Those machines have made him go full joker. Want to know how I got these scars? Sharp corners on uncomfortable pillows. In a new interview, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson admitted he has six children. And then, in a hard-hitting follow-up question, they asked him to name all of them. Uh, uh, well, let's see, well, there's Nigel, uh, Ian, likely a Colin, Warby, <laughs> Parker. The luxury toy car maker, the little car company this week unveiled a child-sized Aston Martin that will sell for $120,000. The name is Bond, unhealthy parental bond. <laughs> Reality star Kylie Jenner yesterday unveiled the new products from her Kylie baby line, which include shampoo, conditioner, bubble bath, and lip injections. Yeah, that's a huge drag to look at. <laughs> a winning Mega Millions lottery ticket that is worth more than $400 million was sold at a pizzeria in New York. Even crazier, they also sold one of those slices with ziti on top of it. <laughs> and finally, Amazon announced yesterday that it is lobbying the federal government to legalize marijuana. So now it's called Amazon Primo. So President Biden spoke yesterday to French President Emmanuel Macron and acknowledged that the U.S. should have consulted with France before announcing a new security pact with the U.K. and Australia. But let's be honest, France has done some crazy stuff without consulting us. She's 150 feet tall, France. You don't just get someone that without asking. Space is hard to come by in New York. President Biden hosted three different groups of Democratic lawmakers at the White House yesterday to discuss his domestic agenda. The Democrats were split into progressives, moderates, and Republicans. A former FDA commissioner said in an interview yesterday that the upcoming flu season will be a, quote, whopper. Apparently, it's going to be so bad as much as 60% of the country will think it's real. President Biden had lunch today with Vice President Kamala Harris. Unfortunately, the menu was one of those QR codes, and it took him 45 minutes to order. <laughs> Florida Governor Ron DeSantis yesterday named his pick for the state's new Surgeon General. And I guess the good news is he's technically a doctor. <laughs> a group of House Republicans on Tuesday filed articles of impeachment against President Biden. And in the interest of bipartisan unity, he's agreed to step down. We got to work together, folks. Authorities in Italy recently arrested a Catholic priest for allegedly stealing more than $100,000 in funds from his parish to pay for drugs. And it gets worse, the drugs were Flintstones chewables. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it was crack, allegedly. <laughs> Two fire departments in Illinois rescued a dog this week after it fell down a 40-foot well. Right, fell, said the cat. <laughs> Singer Billie Eilish announced yesterday that she partnered with Nike to create shoes that are 100% vegan. And get this, they actually taste like real meat. An online store has started selling a sexy Halloween costume version of Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders' inauguration outfit. Not as popular, the sexy George W. Bush stuck in a poncho costume. And finally, New York's Katz's Deli and Hendrix's Gin have announced they will partner to make a gin-inspired pickle, also pickled by gin, the queen on weekends. That was nice, I think it's probably all seven days. <laughs> I pulled back out of respect. That was a monologue.